Hey guys, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment. I hope you can hear me properly. I'm speaking in this microphone, but I've got a fan on me right now. But in this video, I'm going to break down how long does tinnitus last. And this comes from experience from my own life and the lives of other people that I've helped completely eradicate their tinnitus. And before we get started, I just want to show you guys some testimonials of the people who've emailed me and just told me about their stories and how this system is helping them. So just for the sake of keeping this video short in length time, I'm going to put up the testimonials and you can pause them if you want to read them. So let's quickly go through them. Okay, so if you didn't pause it, then you can go back and pause it later. It's absolutely fine. So we're going to talk about, as I said, how long does tinnitus last? Now, I always stand by um, the evidence that I've seen and the science behind it that fasting is always the best way to get rid of tinnitus, no matter how you got it, no matter how long you've had it for, no matter how severe it is, no matter how old you are, no matter what gender you are, okay? But this video is for the guys, okay? So there's one other factor that is very, very important um, for men to understand. It's not testosterone or anything like that even though it's somewhat linked and it's really just it's about stress okay so it's about stress and here's the interesting thing about stress what do most doctors and people and people online and friends and family and people on youtube and whatever who have no idea what stress is and have no idea about the chemical reaction of stress or anything like that and they just feel like they can give advice on it what do they say is the best way to get rid of stress what they're going to advocate meditation um, talk therapy going for a walk exercising, um, nutrition, these are lots of things that I say as well, okay? But you need to understand that you have to solve the actual problem. And what I see a lot is a lot of men, this is about men, making excuses um, to me as to why they can't follow the problem. And it's always got something to do with an event that happened in their life or something that's happening with their life related to women, okay? Or related to um, the job or something about leadership, okay? Now, let me just backtrack. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I'm not trained in either of those things. Um, and my capacity to name the parts of the brain is probably on par with my capacity to name the countries in the world. I can't even probably name 15 of them, to be honest. But here's the thing. When it comes to tinnitus, in, sounding cliche, forget about it, okay? When it comes to tinnitus, I know what works and I know what helps people, okay? And you shouldn't be, you know, threatened or jealous of that if you're like, I don't know what to do, I'm just worried about everything, I don't know, because it took me a long time to figure out too. But here's the thing with men, okay? I'm going to tell you guys a few stories about how to release the stress of the situations and it has nothing to do with meditation, therapy, supplements, you know, or anything like that. Okay. So let's go through a few stories of my own life. Now, actually, if you've seen a story of my entire life, which goes for about three hours, um, you would have known that I went through Tha excuse me, Thailand, Belize, no, Thailand, Romania, and then Belize. Okay. And I actually recently went back to all those places. And now I'm back in my third time in Thailand because I went and visited some friends I made in those places. And I just, I just love those countries so much because they're so different. Anyway, so let me tell you a few stories. So when I was in Belize, Georgia, the very first time, I was staying in a rough, 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 rough neighborhood. Windows barred, you know, big bolt lock on the door. And so here's the thing. I was in Belize and there was this cup. There was two guys and a girl. And it was one guy was like 20, one guy was 30, and one woman was like 45. It was the most random group of people you could ever imagine. And they kept talking and yelling outside my window at each other or something, I don't know what for. And I thought to myself, you know, it's just, I'm not gonna get any sleep unless they shut the hell up. So I went outside and just said, hey guys, sorry, look, can you please be quiet? And they were just like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, we'll be quiet. Go back to my room. Five minutes later, they start up again. So I just walk outside. I say, hey guys, like, would you mind just moving down? They're in the car park right outside. Would you move down and just basically stop doing this please because they didn't understand that much English and they were like go back to your apartment like we'll be quiet we promise okay go back into my apartment third time they set up again even louder okay so I walk back outside close the door it's freezing put on my jacket I've got nothing on under my jacket jacket and tracky pants and my Timberlands walk outside I walk up to the guys making the most noise and just punch him straight in the face and he just falls down and this might seem completely extreme to you guys but let me finish the story anyway so the other guy comes up behind me, punches me in the back of the head, and I'm down, and then basically I get the shit kicked out of me when I'm down. So I get the crap beaten out of me. Even the woman's like kicking me, so it's full on. And then they leave. So that's at least they leave at that stage. They probably realize that they've um, you know, done something they probably shouldn't have done, and then they go. I don't even know if they lived in the building. So I walk back into my apartment, I'm really banged up. I've like 
um, got kicked in the head while I was down. It was pretty bad. Now, I'm a six foot six guy and I weigh about 90 kilos, but I, I've never had a fighting lesson in my life. So I just got throttled basically. Anyway, got back into my apartment, basically had a shower to wash the blood off, went back to bed and I felt amazing. Okay. And here's the reason why. What would most people do in that situation? They let their fear get the better of them, get the best of them. They let their fear of what could happen get the best of them, okay? And this fear has been put in, and this is specifically for men because I wouldn't expect a woman to go out and fight two guys and a girl. And maybe you would, but this is, you know, you're probably more likely to get seriously hurt or worse. Um, so anyway, and I felt amazing because you've got to tackle the stress head on, okay? You have to actually see what the problem is and go and solve it. And the second thing is don't be worried about what other people think of you. But here's the thing and here's the thing with that. Like, okay, let me backtrack again. So let's imagine that I stayed in bed. They probably would have stayed there the whole night. I would have gotten no sleep and it would have ruined the next day as well because it would have ruined the next day because I would have been really tired and then I would have been angry at other people for no reason and people would think like that guy's a dick. It's such, it's it's so obvious what the right answer is. Now, obviously I have to say, don't do this because if you guys go and do this, you're probably going to get the crack beaten out of you. I've been in a few fights before, but I, I can, I can take a punch to the face. It's fine. It's not a problem for me. I've taken a few to the face, but you know, I would say don't, don't do this. Okay. Um, the second thing is I want to ask you guys a question and it's very important to the men and that's, do you care what other people think about you? And just, just have a think about it for a second. Do you care what other people think about you? And here's the interesting thing. The answer is always yes. It's actually biologically impossible to not care what other people think about you. And here's why. We're still running off the brain, the brain stem and the reptilian brain, if you will, off of thousands and thousands of years ago, where um, basically social isolation, so social rejection, so doing something wrong or weird that results in you being ostracized and kicked out of the clan of maybe 15 people, you would definitely die. There's no way that you wouldn't die. You wouldn't have any shelter, friends, you know, a group, everyone has a role in a group of 15 people back there in the savannah. Some person takes care of the kids. Someone goes and gets the food. Someone builds the houses. Someone's, you know, the shaman back then, whatever they had, the medicine, if you will. You can't do all that stuff on your own. Now you can, these days you can do that, but we're still running off those brains. So here's the thing. You might think, well, you know, sometimes I've, I don't care what people think about me. You know, for example, if you, you might say, well, do you reckon Leonardo DiCaprio cares what, you know, some person thinks about him? Well, here's the thing. If somebody, there's, it's, it goes both ways. If somebody gives you a compliment or you see people who are fans of you, you, you you're not going to, people think like, oh, do you even care what people think about you? You instantly think, do you care if people not like you? But you also got to think, do you care if people like you? And the thing is, you actually can't avoid that feeling of, of, uh, it's, a, it's an emotional chemical response, okay? Because the feeling of social rejection, sorry, the part of your brain, it's the neural pathway of social rejection is wired in with physical pain, okay? And I was speaking to a guy um, from the UK about this. He's actually located in Singapore at the moment. If you're watching this right now, I'm sorry if I forgot Singapore or Dubai. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But um, we're talking about this and it's very interesting. And if that's why guys are worried about talking to pretty girls because they're worried about something that's not even a problem anymore. And that's the second thing about myself as well. And this is an interesting story too. All of the girls that I've dated in the past probably five years or so, I've not met them through friends or social dating sites. I don't do that stuff. I meet them from on, on the street. So if I see a pretty girl, go up and talk to them and, you know, if it goes well, we might meet up later next, then, you know, later in the week for a coffee. Most men will look at that and think about that and go, oh, that's, that's silly, that's ridiculous, you could never do that, like girls don't like that. That's the fear happening again. You're not, you're not addressing the problem in the moment. This is why people go for the easier path of dating apps and hiding behind this stuff. And this has to do with tinnitus as well, and I'll explain why in a second. But if you're not addressing the problem in the moment when it arises, so if you see a pretty girl walking down, I don't know, some shopping mall or something and you don't have the balls to go and talk to her, there's a problem there, okay? But it's not, it's not your problem. It's a biological problem that's happening because of you know, our ancestry. You need to address that. I'm kind of going on a rant now, but you need to address that problem. And it's, it, you can't, I see so many guys and so many of my friends who, and here's the thing, I'm scared when I talk to girls as well. When I go up and talk to a really gorgeous girl 
and like, oh my god, <laughs> like you, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And like, men are all, we're all the same. No one is different, no one is unique, okay? We're all the same. And as soon as you can get that out of your head that you know, you're special or like you need special treatment or something like that, then you really go steamrolling ahead. And I see so many guys who get therapy or they think that they should go to the gym to address. And because women is a big problem for men because the part of your brain that's designed for sexual pursuit for men is two times bigger than women. So it's always on our minds. It's not, this isn't some PC talk. It does not pretend it doesn't happen, okay? So why, how does this relate to tinnitus? And I'll tell one more story in a second, but how does it relate to tinnitus, okay? When you get stressed out or you overthink something, okay, you pump up cortisol, okay? And cortisol actually causes an insulin spike, believe it or not, because it's hormonal. Cortisol is hormonal adrenal glands and insulin is hormonal from the pancreas, beta cells. You don't want insulin. That causes lots of problems in your body, too much insulin. You can get hyperinsulinemia, you can actually get, um, you can make pre-diabetes worse, type two, all sorts of problems. Again, okay? cortisol affects, basically is one of the biggest causes of tinnitus because it's your fight or flight. It correlates to your fight or flight mechanism, your sympathetic nervous system. But if you would just go and take that action, if you would have that awkward talk with your parents, if you would quit your job, if you would start a business you wanted to start, this is for the men, start a business you wanted to start, ask that girl out, um, get that tattoo you wanted, get that tattoo removed, start going to the gym, um, you know, start a weight loss um, regime for yourself, fast for two days like Liam says you should do, you know, ask for my help, email me and ask for my help. If you do all these things that you're worrying about so much, it's like a it's like a cesspool. It's, it's building inside of you, and it doesn't matter what the result is. You still feel good, okay? It's like when I got the shit kicked out of me in Georgia. It felt, felt bloody amazing, and the benefit was they walked away, and I got to sleep as well. And I woke up in a hell of a lot of pain, <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is, I felt better than if I would have just been by a sook. And I feel like men these days. They're getting, and I know this is kind of off tangent tonight, but it's very important you understand this. Men these days, they're having their masculinity taken away from them. They're having all sorts of problems happening with them. And no, it doesn't benefit anybody. Women don't like weak men. Weak men don't like themselves, okay? No one's winning. Don't, don't worry, like, go and don't do this, okay? But go get in a fight. Go have an argument with somebody. Don't hurt anyone, okay? But, you know, like... I have to say again, don't do this, but I'm just trying to put it out there that you have to deal with the stressful situation in the moment as soon as it arises. Don't let it brew inside of you because you're going to get stressed out and that makes tinnitus so bad, okay? So, so, so bad. So I want to tell you one more story as well and this um, relates to men and women, but I'm, I'm going to make a video about women too because I get a lot of women contact me and their situations are so similar it is uncanny. It is insane. It's always, it's, it has to do with their kids and I can pinpoint exactly what's happening when someone says, hi, my name is X, what, Y, Z and I'm 46 and tonight I start and I can already cover my eyes and know what happened. I can see it every time. So I'm going to make a, you know, a video about that. But um, I'll tell you this one story of my friend, happened to my friend. He had um, his parents when he was young. Um, he, his dad uh, went and was the money maker and his, his mum was a stay at home mum and they had uh, two kids and they had a third kid and then the kids grew up and the youngest kid was like 12 or something like that. It was like 12, 13, 15, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so um, the dad was making the money and what happened was they started to get a bit you know, tight with the cash because they had so many kids, right? Like one boy and two girls and the youngest boy was my friend. Um, and what happened was the dad wanted the mum to go back to work but he was too worried about asking her because he was worried that she would get annoyed. Remember that, that wiring was social... Um, uh, social rejection wired in with physical pain makes no sense right they're married for god's sake he didn't ask her for a whole year and when he finally brought it up to her and said look money's you know the kids are old enough to like stay at home by themselves after school would you be able to um get a part-time job as like a you know whatever i don't know i think she ended up being like a paralegal or something and and when he brought it up to her she said yes like i would love to do that like you know i know we need more money and i'm just sick of taking care of the kids all the time so she wanted it too. Most of the time, if, if the situation calls for something and it just logically calls for it, everybody wants it. But because of that social wiring with physical pain, nobody wants to say it first, okay? You need to be the first person to say it. So if you wanna know more about, um, this video is about men and how men get stressed and how um, they can help themselves, I recommend you read a few books. I recommend you read Alpha Male 2.0. 
horrible book title I know but it's amazing go read Alpha Male 2. I think it's called The Unchained Man actually but read that book terrible name read it anyway and go and read The Male Brain by Luanne Brizendine who's an actually fantastic author she wrote The Male Brain and The Female Brain and also guys if you want to just understand stress and understand it a bit more how the world works and how you can not get yeah, how you can do more than just get by and reduce your stress. I recommend that you read lots and lots and lots and lots of books about everything. I read about a book a week at the moment and I really read it. I take about three hours every day and read a book. I love it. But it might be a bit hard for you because you have tinnitus and it's distracting. Put some music on in the background, just get it done. Okay, so let me just tie this back in with tinnitus, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, for those of you guys who have tinnitus, let me explain something. This is my theory and what I'm finding it's more of it's getting proven more and more every day. If you just check the testimonials at the start of this video, okay? So let's say that you fast properly, like I tell you guys to do, dry fasting and water fasting, and you add the right chemicals to the water. Let's say you fast and you don't address these issues head on, you'll still get rid of tinnitus by just fasting, but it will take a long time, okay? Now, let's say you address these issues head on and you, you know, learn how to get good with women because that's part of, that's how your brain is designed. You actually, you stop wishing the world was a different way and start realizing the way it is and start optimizing your lifestyle to make better, best use of it and be happy basically. If you just do that stuff and don't fast, you won't get rid of tinnitus. That's what I'm finding anyway. You really need to add it all in. And this is the fasting and the diet and everything else, okay? So I've been doing this for a long, long, long time. Years and years and years. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I was raised by very, very good parents. You know, they're very supportive. Out of my, my friends, you know, we just basically, you're not, you're not a sook in Australia or you just get pounded by life, okay? So I was doing that, but I still got tinnitus because I wasn't, I didn't have all this in check. I didn't have, um, the, my diet was awful. I was drinking coffee all the time, alcohol. You know, I was eating all day long. I wasn't spending any days not eating. So that's, that's how this correlates. But doing this properly will combine these and just speed it all up. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'd love to hear your questions. I'll be doing another, I'll be doing a shorter video next time about the actual what to do A, B steps per day with tinnitus. But this is just something that's really important. And I will be doing a video for women as well because that's very, very important, as I said. And it, it does connect more with women who have had kids because it's such a common story that, you know, I only would ever speak about things that I personally have experienced or I've seen again and again and again enough to be a pattern that needs to be um, spoken about, okay? So this is Liam from Tonight's Treatment and I'll talk to you guys soon.